I completely forgot that I had to take her home. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our vlog channel. Today is my father's surgery. So that means I'm ready because I'm going to the hospital right now. Oh, I think I have too much coffee. I'm going to the hospital. It's 9.26 right now, but his surgery is at 1, but we have to be there at 11. So that's the plan for today. Emily has to leave school early today with Allison at 11 because Allison cannot pick up Emily at 2 o'clock because she has practice and nobody can pick up Emily today. And I say, okay, Emily, one more time, go to the school with a note and come with Allison because my father is having surgery and it's nothing that we can do about it. I have to be there with him. You know, they don't speak English, so we have to help. Plus, even if they speak English, I'm gonna be there. Emily has to pack today because she's leaving tomorrow to Georgia with Raphael. I rent a car yesterday for them because, you know, Raphael and the technology, he's no good with that. So he doesn't know how to ask for an Uber and all of that. I'm always the one who does that. I said, you know what, let me rent a car. It's gonna be four days in Georgia. You have to go to the hotel from the airport and it's gonna be 30 minutes. Plus then the day that they're coming back is super early. If something happened with Uber, you know. The hotel and the place that she's competing is only like 1.5 miles. It's nothing crazy. Maybe they can go walking. But if they're hungry, if they want to buy grocery, or oh, a snack, or oh, dinner, or oh, lunch. He doesn't know how to ask for Uber Eats and nothing like that. So I said, you know what? Let me go safe. Let me rent a car for you guys. You can pick up the car at the airport. So, so you're gonna be fine for four days and I don't have to worry about you and the Uber and the tips. He doesn't know how to put it in the app, rate the driver. Guys, he doesn't know about technology. He is a very good man. He does a lot of things for us, but with the technology, no, 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 no. Let me show you the flowers, guys. You know that yesterday was Valentine's Day. Look, these one are Allison. Look how beautiful, and these one are mine. Look how amazing they look. They opened today a lot. They're looking so cute, and Emily has her flower in her room. Let me prepare something to eat right now. Let me bring like three. One for me, one for my mom, and one for Jelani. Just in case we're hungry, we can eat this. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna be good to go with this. So, I will see you later, guys, and I will keep you updated about my dad surgery. If you don't know, and if you are new here, and, and you don't know what is the surgery about, he's replacing his whole shoulder. It's a big surgery. I will keep you updated. Maybe Alison and Emily, they're gonna be vlogging later, but for now, I'm leaving. Hey guys, so I was literally leaving school, like on my way out, about to turn, and Emily calls me and I'm like, wait, why is Emily calling me? And then I remember that I literally was supposed to pick her up. Well, not pick her up, like take her home with me because my mom can't pick her up from school today and I can't take her home because I have practice and my grandpa's getting surgery. So my mom's gonna be with him. And I completely forgot that I had to take her home. So I like was literally leaving, but I'm on my way back right now to go get her because I completely forgot her. That is my fault. But like, I completely, <laughs> whoops. I literally completely forgot. And she's just like, where are you? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just coming back now, it's okay. So, school is pretty good. I'm hungry, but I'm currently like on my strict cut. Like I was supposed to be cutting for a while now, but I've been pretty like lenient with myself, which is good, but I need to like for real cut now. So now I'm heading back to Emily and I'm probably gonna eat eggs when I get home. I have to edit my video, like my going on a date video. Oh my gosh. I want to see her just standing there. Where is she? Okay, I do not see her anywhere. Emily? Oh, she's over here. This poor thing. 
I'm walking down here. I was like, I just know, like, what if I also just like left without I me? Did. And forgot I'm to sorry. Me up. <laughs> I just forgot that you were coming home with me. That's hilarious. <laughs> sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But it's okay. Because at least I wasn't like all the way home. Yeah. Where were you? Oh my gosh, good thing like my my like teacher didn't let me leave early because she was about to let us leave early, like at like 10.30, and I was gonna just leave. And I would have literally just been out home and then he would have called me like, where are you? And I would have been <laughs> already out like, home. I'm walking down where you parked. I was like, crap, where's the Jeep? I was like, Allison did not just leave me. Like she, she definitely didn't. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Anyways, on our way home now, for real. But I've been trying to plan our spring break trip all day. And I had a couple places that were like working out, but I had to find like a place to stay. So, it's in the works. I think it'll be fun. As long as I can just get tan. No, you're gonna get tan. I wanna get tan. Mom and should definitely let us do that. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? And then, yeah, I think that'd be Tomorrow, I'm also not going to school tomorrow because I'm flying out to Atlanta because we have cheer sport this weekend. Stay tuned for a video on that. And the interesting part is that I'm going with only my dad. Like my mom's not going, which should be very fun. But since I just got home from school, the first thing I'm going to do is eat some food because I didn't eat lunch at school. I left right before lunch, but I always take off my watch and my shoes and change into some comfy clothes. So let's do that. I changed into this because this is what I use whenever I like fake tan and I'm fake tanning later. So I just changed into this. Okay guys, I just made myself a little grilled cheese and then I'm just having some gluten-free pretzels on the side because these are actually better than like regular pretzels and then some water. But right now it's currently 12, 10 basically. And I'm about to like shower and like exfoliate and stuff because I'm going to be fake tanning. And then I have to pack and do homework and stuff. And then I practice today. Okay, I finished showering and I don't really feel like packing right now. So instead I'm going to be doing this, which are due today at practice. It's these little positive notes and you have to like write one for everybody on the team. I already did like the rough draft of the notes for everybody, but now I'm just writing them on pink paper and I'm making them into little hearts. Okay, I finished the little notes and I thought I was gonna need more paper. So I have a couple extras, but I finished cutting out the little hearts and I went to go change the battery to the camera and the dogs wanted to come outside. So I'm letting them out for a second. And I did kind of finish cutting them out, like the little hearts like 20 minutes ago, but I kind of wanted to just scroll on TikTok. So I did that, but I need to be productive. So got off of that and I'm about to self tan, which hopefully that goes good. But we have a package out here, so I'm gonna open it. And I'm just gonna open it out here while sitting down on the ground because, um, I don't know. I don't feel like going to open it inside. It's an Amazon package, I don't know what it is. Oh, that's just, we got some black leggings. These are the black leggings. These are the Lululemon dupes that we've been buying a lot. They're literally so good, love these. And Allison wears leggings 24 seven and she takes all of mine, so I had to order some for myself, obviously. And let's hope she doesn't steal these ones, even though I know she will. But we just needed another pair, so we got that. And then we have some pills. These are Oxy Powder Digestive Cleanse. Releases constipation and bloating. Don't know who got these, but probably my mom. Okay guys, I'm back inside and it is a little bit later because Alexis FaceTimed me and she was showing me a little haul of something. But now we're actually gonna fake tan. So let me get all my supplies. We have my little mitt, which is very dirty. Don't mind that. And then this is the fake tan that I use. And then I have my little brush and my face fake tan. I'm gonna fake tan my face first because I always do that. And then I'll move on to my body. And I've honestly, this is this is my third time ever fake tanning. And I think I've definitely gotten better at it. I'm not gonna film while I fake tan, obviously, but I'll be back once I'm done fake tanning. And let's see how long it takes me to fake tan. It's currently 2.20, so let's see how long it takes. 
Okay, I just finished and now it's 2.33. Wait, I forgot what time I started this. Wait, what time did I start fake tanning? I already forgot what time I started fake tanning. Anyways, it's 2.33 now. You guys can make the math on how much time it took because I forgot what time I started this. Okay guys, I actually listened to myself and I'm packing and it's like 4.30. So I didn't just stay scrolling on TikTok. But now I need to get my suitcase and start packing. Bag is kind of cute. I might take it to put my stuff in. Well, actually, I don't think I can bring any more bags because I already have my cheer backpack and then a suitcase. So I actually can't bring another backpack. Actually, I might be able to because my dad has a suitcase and then we'll have this bag to put like everything else in. Hmm, I'm gonna take it just in case because it's cute and I want to. Here's the bag and then I'm gonna grab this suitcase up here. Let's go. What I do when I pack is I just kind of go through my closet and just throw stuff that I want to bring on the ground and then I like organize it into my suitcase. But when I'm doing that for competition, I do have a checklist of what I need to bring. It doesn't want to focus on camera there. I have a checklist of everything to make sure that I get everything because I always forget something. So this helps me not forget stuff. Um, is somebody here? And. Oh, my mom's home, guys. Anyways, I need to start packing. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get something. Okay, I'm back. I went to grab these leggings that I opened up earlier because we're going to Atlanta and it's supposed to be pretty cold. So I'm making sure I bring like sweatpants, long sleeves, jackets and stuff. So we're bringing these leggings in case one night me and my dad like wanna go out because we are gonna be there for two nights, Saturday and Sunday night. So in case we want to go out and do something, because I do compete pretty early in the morning. Not pretty early, but like 1, 2, 3 o'clock. So once I'm done with that, I'm like good for the rest of the day. So we could go out and do something. And then I have to bring this practice wear because I do have practice tomorrow when we get to Atlanta. And we have to wear that, so I need to bring that. And then my uniform and bow, obviously. I'm just throwing everything on the ground right now and then I'm organizing it all later. Got my cheer backpack. Can't forget these, but I do have to use these tonight because I have practice. We're gonna need socks, which one time I did forget socks last season, so I always make sure to grab socks. Bras and underwear, of course. And I think that's mainly for like the cheer stuff. And then I also need to bring like other clothes, obviously. Oh, but first, can't forget my sweatpants because like I said, it's supposed to be cold. I'm gonna wanna have sweatpants on over my little skirt while I'm getting to the light convention. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a fly in here and it's literally pissing me off. It's so annoying. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring this crew neck because I just got it so it's like really soft. Cause you know when you like use it too much and it's not soft anymore. So I'm gonna bring this. And then let's see, what's a little something cute to wear in case we're gonna go out to like dinner or something and I wanna be cute. The thing is, like, I want to be cute, but then I'm also going to be freezing, so... Hmm. Got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Oh, I got to bring pajamas. Can't forget about that. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Okay, this is, like, actually hard picking out, like, extra outfits because I don't want to be freezing cold. So I might just bring jackets, but then I also just don't want to just wear a jacket because I want to be cute. Mm. Oh, I think I have this long sleeve swiftly. It's like pink. I have never worn it before, but it's in Allison's closet, I think. So let me go grab it. Okay, here it is. It's so cute. So I think I'm gonna bring that. And then I could probably just wear that with my black sweatpants. Oh, I think I'm actually gonna wear the leggings to the airport. I'm gonna leave these out because I'm gonna wear these the days that we're like traveling. I like to travel in leggings because they're comfy. And then I'll probably wear like a hoodie. What is this one? Yeah, I'll probably just wear this one. Just this blue Under Armour one. Okay. Um, I think I'm good pretty much for like clothes wise. I got to check my checklist because I always forget. So I got my uniform, sweatpants, extra outfit, socks, pajamas, that. Okay. I'm good with clothes. I'm not packing like many extra outfits. So I'm just going to hope. It's fly. Oh my gosh. Just going to hope that I don't need an extra outfit. But yeah, apparently the area is not the best, so we might not even go out that much, but we'll see. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put all my clothes in my suitcase now, and I definitely have a lot more stuff to pack, but I do need to use some of the stuff like makeup, skincare, my chargers, and all that. 
So I'm just going to pack that like tomorrow morning because I don't leave super early. So I, I'll have time to like wake up and pack everything. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But let's put all this into my suitcase. Guys, I'm getting ready for practice right now. And I just realized I almost forgot to pack Nike Pros for under my uniform. So we're packing that right now. I'm glad I didn't forget that. But guys, practice, it's, the theme is camo or blackout. But the thing is, I've kind of used all my black clothes and I don't have anything camo. We're gonna wear these hottie hots and I don't know what's up yet. Gotta figure that out. Okay, here's how the fit looks. This is what it looks like. And it's currently like 5.50 and I don't leave until 6.30 and all I have to really do is put my hair up. I'm going to lay back in bed until it's time to leave. If you guys can't tell, I lay in bed a lot and procrastinate everything. And yeah, I do that like every day. I'm about to head off to practice. And guys, my fake tan is still on. I haven't washed it off. So it smells kind of bad, but it's whatever. I don't care. And my face, I feel like it's a lot paler than my body. So I'm going to fake tan my face a little bit more tonight. So that it's like even, you know? And I don't have any makeup on because I took my makeup off earlier when I was showering. But yeah, now what time is it? It's 624. I have like six minutes until I have to leave. Let's hope today's a good practice. It's currently seven o'clock and I'm already ready for bed. I swear some nights I get ready for bed so early, like today, like Monday and today, I was literally in bed by like 7.30 and I was like done for the day. But then there's some nights where I don't even get in, like I don't shower till like nine and it's like, come on, like why can't we like balance it out? I swear some days are just like overcrowded. So. Anyways, I just got ready for bed. I just popped this pimple right here, so it kind of hurt. I didn't do it on purpose. I was exfoliating and it popped. So my dad's making me food. Is there still 20 minutes on that? Is that the potatoes? Well, I'm just gonna probably brush my hair because it looks crazy, but I went to the sauna for 30 minutes and I was sweating so, so, so bad. But I think we might have figured out our spring break trip, which I'm so excited about because it's going to be so fun. We'll let you guys know like once it's confirmed, but I think we might have figured it out. I've already gotten like excursions and stuff and like Airbnb and flights. So it's rolling. Finally, it took a really long time to like figure out where we we're going to go, how it was going to work. So it's been a minute. Probably just going to chill for us today. Tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up early and film a video because I'm not gonna really be busy. Like I'm gonna be too busy this weekend, so I'm not gonna have time to film. So I'm filming a video, depending on how much I weigh, I'm definitely gonna have to cut tomorrow. So I'm definitely gonna go to the sauna and spit. I have to be at the school at 12, so I'm probably gonna wake up at like eight and get ready, go film. I'll probably not edit it tomorrow. I'll probably just edit it over the weekend when I have a little bit of time, but I just wanna have it filmed because that's like the most difficult part. So I'm gonna go to Target most likely to do that. I still need to weigh myself and eat. I'm probably just gonna weigh myself before, but that's not accurate. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I have a lot to do tomorrow. And then tomorrow at noon, we drive up. It's only like an hour and a half drive. And then Saturday, States. I keep forgetting that I'm even going to States. So I need to like pack tomorrow as well. So I think if I wake up at eight and I leave at 8.30 and I get back to the house by 10. I think I'll have time. I might have to just go straight from like filming to the gym, to the sauna, like to do that. And then, I don't know. But my dad and Emily leave tomorrow at 11 for Atlanta, Georgia. Their flight's at 11, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, so they have to leave roughly the same time. I'm not going to school tomorrow, but I need to bring my, me and my sisters, um, forms so that we can have our classes next year because we did them this week yeah that's pretty much all there is at the moment so i'm not feeling 100 percent. my hip is in like a lot of pain um but it only hurts when i'm doing everything besides lifting like if i'm lifting i don't feel the pain but like walking hurts like lifting up my leg getting in my car like everything it's like so painful i think like there's something in there i think i might be inflamed i don't know I have no idea what it is, but it hurts so, so, so bad. So I'm just, I don't know, pushing through. It's happened at regionals, but it's whatever. I'm going to wait to eat. I'm having salmon and potatoes. So super excited about that. Ooh, next week is the UV is going to be eight, which is so exciting. Like I'm so excited. But this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, there's like supposed to be like a storm. Like it's supposed to be 
super super rainy but then monday it's supposed to be clear skies which we want to go to a spring and paddle board because we all got paddle boards like my entire friend group has paddle boards now so we want to go to a spring because it's currently manatee season so whenever you go to springs there's tons and tons of manatees and then all next week it's supposed to be sunny and the uv seven eight oh my gosh it's so so exciting so I'm definitely gonna be tan next week. But anyways, I'm gonna just wait for my food to be done. It's currently says 11 minutes or 16, I don't know. Something like that. Hey guys, I just got home from practice and I'm about to eat dinner. We have some fried rice and then I need to shower and wash off my tan because I still haven't taken it off and it smells bad. But my back hurts so bad from practice. But anyways, this is good night. Mom, are you done packing? You need to pack. No, you, need to start. you need to pack the straightener. Oh, go ahead.